having expectations is natural expecting those expectations to get fulfilled is fallacious taming of expectations is a skill that parenting demands what we're going to talk about today is how do you restrain those parental expectations we all tend to get into situations where we develop thoughts about what we think needs to be and that particularly tends to happen when you're looking at parenting your children having a thought process about how you think your child needs to grow up what are the kind of ways in which you would want them to develop the kind of skills you think they need to have the ways in which you want them to build their relationships the ways in which you think they need to acquire different skills the mechanisms through which they will be able to achieve their potential everything in a parent's mind tends to be directed towards ensuring that they tend to reach that particular point where they are getting what they want but a lot of times what we don't realize is that unknowingly we create a lot of pressure by constantly pushing forward those expectations that we have somewhere at the back of our own mind and what that can do is it can create a lot of stress for a child even for a very very young child it can become a pressure which they feel that you know my parent thinks that i need to be a certain way my parent thinks that i need to go ahead and achieve something it could be in the context of game it could be in the context of uh, the way in which they would be expected to be in social situations it could be around their friends it could be around their family members it could be in any number of contexts but what do you really want for your child you want that they should be able to develop a very good robust understanding of who they are as an individual so that when they are going through different circumstances in their life they are able to take care of their own selves not just take care of their own selves but they can achieve their true potential that they're able to get to the point that they want to get to you want them to be able to set goals for themselves and achieve those goals in the future you want them to be happy you want them to be feeling fulfilled in their lives not feeling that you know they're just constantly running after something which seems like an unachievable target and how do you do that you do that by providing your child with numerous opportunities options to be able to explore and understand first their environment and then of course their own self because what you do require is for your child to develop a very good understanding of what is it that works for them in the context of their life they need to be able to develop an understanding of how they're going to be what are their skills what are their strengths where are the gaps in those skills and strengths so that they can take care of it or at least be forewarned while they're navigating through situations they can at least create a more active attempt to be able to build on those skills but you don't want it to come across as a pressure to the child that this is an absolute must setting those norms can create a pressure which can make your child feel very low and unhappy it can increase their levels of anxiety make them feel very worried very preoccupied and that is not something that you as a parent would want for your child you want them to be happy and that happiness is going to come in from a true acceptance of who they are as an individual and to be able to do that besides providing those opportunities to be able to explore it's very essential that you keep on reinforcing who they are so when you see your child doing something accomplishing something it's important to keep reinforcing it yes as a parent you can give them feedback that feedback has immense value because it allows them to be able to determine how else they can further improve but that feedback needs to be given in a way that it doesn't sound very critical or it does not come across as they're not doing good enough it's important that while giving those feedbacks you end up sharing with them and reinforcing to them what was really good in the approach that they did take because that is something which allows them to be able to develop more confidence in their own selves knowing that i am doing things in a certain way which does work and it works well it's very critical that you keep on ensuring that that particular reinforcement is not happening on account of the rewards that you give your child it needs to be in the form of more praise and appreciation for the goodness that they do demonstrate and simultaneously it needs to be balanced by uh, sharing with them the opportunities or the situations which they may be missing out on when you've maintained such a balanced approach you keep on giving your child numerous opportunities to be able to learn internalize skills and it does not come across as 
you expect them to be a certain way but they are able to recognize that this is something that would make them feel good in the long run which would allow them to be able to create a life for themselves which they feel happy about because they have those right skills in place and understanding of what life needs to look at, look like and also a realistic understanding of how they can get to that point where they feel that they are achieving things in the way that they would like to that they are able to get to their goals and they're being able to take care of their own selves in a way that feels fulfilling for own, for their own selves so this is something which is very very critical that as a parent you need to keep in mind so that your child ends up being a confident child and you're raising them to be able to move forward through the different circumstances of life in a self assured manner